The AFTV Nigeria Tour is brought to you by Clasher, the app that allows African consumers to access the goods and services they want internationally without friction. Click the link in the description to download the app and stand a chance to win $1,000 straight to your Clasher wallet to get you started on your shopping adventure. Hi and welcome to AFTV. A long time since I've seen this man. Tade is here. Um, we've just beaten West Ham. It's a good game that you come and saw and it's good to see you back with, you know, bring that winning energy. But 2-1, yeah. how was it for you? I'm glad to see you, brother. <laughs> glad to see you I miss you too. I miss you, my guy. 2-1 to the Arsenal, people! 2-1! <laughs> yeah. Bro, that game, let's not lie, it was an ugly, ugly win. Mm. Wait, don't mm. rub it in. It was very ugly. Mm. Two headers from two centre-backs. Yeah. When last did that happen in Arsenal? It's I can't been a remember, while. exactly. A while. But who cares? Mm. Who cares? We're in fourth position right now. That's all we care about. Mm. I'm really buzzed, I'm not gonna lie. That's the positive. Yeah, yeah. The negative is that first half was atrocious. Mm. Absolutely atrocious. The only hungry player we had in that game was in Ketia, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And he was the one that kept on banging on the door mm. with those, you know, we, he was pulling up some saves from the goalkeeper. You know, he, he, he tried his best. And I think the other guy was saying he didn't hold up the play. I kind of disagree with him in that, yeah. in that sense. I thought he tried his best to hold up and he did a, an okay job. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So for me, I feel that this is one of those games where you didn't perform well, you know, the way you really wanted yep. to perform, but you came out with the win. And that's what you need to it's be true. able to get into top four at yeah. the end of the day. Is it becoming a running theme that you're worried about? Because against United, if we're going to be really honest, we didn't play great, but we did get the win. Mm. I mean, it's something to worry about, let's be honest. Mm. Look. When we played Manchester United and Chelsea, who really expected us to win? That's the problem with Arsenal. Mm. Inconsistency. Yes. You don't know what to expect. When I was getting into this game, I'm not going to lie to you, I wasn't really, really confident. Mm. Because one thing about Arsenal is, once they start going down, they go down. Once they start coming up, they go up. And then everybody, oh, you know, ah, we'll win the league. You know, it's nonsense things. But then the day, they just remove the cable from you. Yeah. And next thing, you are diffused. So, it's, 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 it's almost like a merry-go-round when it comes to Arsenal Football Club. Yes. Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's between us and Tottenham. The only way Man U can... Can Man U even make it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They've got three more games to play, so I'm not sure. So I think it's between us and Tottenham right now. Do you know what I mean? And we're going to Tottenham. I'm not entirely sure about that game. Why? Simply because... I don't remember the last time we won there. Yeah. I think it's about, I don't know, 10, 10 years now? I don't know. Mm -hmm. 10 years, nine years. It's been a long time since we won there. So I'm not really, really confident, but I will be looking out for like a draw. Mm -hmm. If we can get a draw, I'm going to be very, very happy about that. But when you look at the game today, I think there are a few things I'm going to pick. For instance, Martinelli, for me, I wasn't entirely impressed by the assist okay. that he gave. I wasn't entirely impressed by his game today. I felt sometimes he needs to release the ball a little bit quicker. And I think one thing about him is he's a very good player. We all know that. Mm. But sometimes it's not every time you want to look down and try to beat the man. Do you know what I mean? You want to like, you know, just do that one touch pass, move out into space and then they give you back. But in the first half, he was playing a bit like a second striker inside. He wasn't really playing out the wing. And I wasn't entirely sure whether that was down to instruction yeah. or that was, you know, down to cowardice from him. I don't really know. And then when you look at Saka, Saka had a mixed game as far as I'm concerned. So no. Is he allowed to have one of, one of those, one or two of those for how pivotal he's been for us this season? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's been the best player attacking wise for us this mm. season, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. So yes, he's allowed. But then again, as a warrior, as a player that you, you know, you want to get to that level where you'll be competing with, you know, with the Salas and all that. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be, you know, letting out of the woods so easily. You need to be consistent every bloody day. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's how you become a warrior. That's mm. how you become that winner that we're expecting you to be. Do you know what I mean? A lot and of pressure on these youngsters though, because you know, we are relying on them a lot. The likes of Salah have a, a good Liverpool side that mm -hmm. doesn't you know, have all that pressure for him to perform week in, week out. But mm -hmm. a lot of pressure for these youngsters though. Mm -hmm. What about Haaland? How old is he? Young How old is Mbappe? It's about character, my brother. <laughs> it's about building the character yeah. to be consistent, the personality. Thank you, my brother. Mm. That's what you need. Do you know what I mean? And I'm really glad that I'm actually opening my tattoo because I was in the home end today. And I really couldn't jubilate. So, honest, guys, see my jacket. This is how I was. Let me show you guys something. This was how I was the whole game. Like this. Because of people. I don't want people to notice me. Even when I was walking, this is how I was. Before people would beat me up. Police was everywhere. 
I'm serious. Police was everywhere, literally, with horses and everything. There was, you know, horse dunk and everything on the road when I was coming here. Look at my shoes. Everything is now dirty. All because I came here for an interview. Anyway, Sha, big up you boys. Big up Arsenal. Respect. Love. <laughs> I right, tell